one show has pushed people quite literally to the edge. I'll take much more of this. Almost four and a half thousand players have flocked to face TV's most talked about machine. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my goodness, me. And a galaxy of lucky stars have followed. I love this show. <laughs> Together they've won nearly six million pounds. That is life changing for me. With just under a million of that going to good causes. Enough to make you want to pickle your walnut. We're looking back at the agony. <laughs> and the ecstasy. Yeah! Of the most dramatic end game. I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. This is Tipping Point's best ever final. First up, it's Rita, a lady who knows how she'll splash any cash she might grab from the machine. What do you think you'd like to do with the money? Um, this sounds ridiculous, given that we live in North Northumberland. Right. <laughs> but I quite fancy a hot tub in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> And if there was anything left over, <laughs> I've always wanted little pygmy goats. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, I couldn't think of anything better to spend the money on. Yes. Not least getting the hot tub. The neighbours would love that. Oh, they would. Give them yes. something to talk about, wouldn't it? It certainly oh, would, yeah. Fingers crossed we can get you the money, because it'd be Thank great you. fun to watch you spend it on that. It's the best Thank of you. We join Rita two categories down in her bid to shift the jackpot counter to the bottom shelf. Ooh, Anna Ooh. again. That's... Come on, over the edge, over the edge. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Go on, Rita. Good boy. 50 pounds drops in, takes us up to 2,400 pounds, Rita. We're on the bottom shelf. I know, I know. Four again? Yes, please. Light it up. Might come across, might be a bit of lateral, as they say. But not this time. Yeah, okay, nothing there. One more. Drop zone four, please. Four ben. again, please. Come back a touch. Nope. Oh well. Could spread. Could these. be a little bit. Just gonna go along. 50 pounds drops in. Okay, 50 pounds across the tipping point. Let's put that in. Takes us to 2,450 pounds. We're still in really good shape here, Rita. Let's go back to the categories. Human body next, please. For how many? Three, please. Human body for three. In what part of the human body would you find the pineal gland? Brain, kidneys, or lungs? I don't think it's the lungs. And it doesn't sound kidney like because they're renal. I may live to regret this, but I'm going to go for brain, please, Ben. Should we load up? Yes, please. We're going to take the brain, please. Is the right answer the brain? Yes, it yes. is. Well done. Three counters here, then. Rita, drop zone four. Yes, please. Let's do it. Here we go. Now. We can shift some of that weight. Shift some of that. Down. Come on, stay on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. Oh, nice little stack that could yeah. go for you here. And it oh, does. Yeah. Wonderful. Six across the tipping point. Let's put three hundred pounds in for you there. Takes us up to two thousand seven hundred fifty. Two more to go. Drop zone four, please, Ben. Four again, please. Right then. Right then. That right mystery then. wants to go. The jackpot's ready. With some help. Come along, children. Now, that should send the mystery over, shouldn't it? It would be lovely. Thread that back. Oh, oh. Squeeze up to the jackpot as well, which wouldn't be bad. Uh, we had one just slide in there. So an extra 50 pounds drops in. Takes us up to 2,800 in the machine. And one more to go here then, Rita. Oh, here you go. Let's see what happens here. They're all yours. Doesn't matter when they go. They're all desperate to drop for you, Rita. No, they're all just piling up there. Yeah. Four um, up. Yes, please. Five up, drop zone four, please. What we really would love it, right on that black one. Right on middle. the black one in the middle. There's stop, stop. Could work. It could, could work. Could, could. But not this time. Just fills that shelf nicely, though. Let's go back to the categories. Uh, we'll just keep going down, please, Ben. Okay, um, language, language how many? Please. Four, three. Okay, 
Language for three, please. What word means a misunderstood or misinterpreted word or phrase which has resulted from the mishearing of a song lyric? Spoonerism, Mondegreen, or egg corn? I know it's not spoonerism, because that's something else entirely. Um, let's go with egg corn, then. OK, please, we've got a lot of egg corn, please. Is it egg corn? No. It's Mondegreen. It was Mondegreen. Sadly, we were wrong, but we're still in good shape. Let's go back to the categories. Let's go for film for three, please, Ben. We're going for film for three, please. Who starred as Alexander the Great in Oliver Stone's 2004 epic film, Alexander? Eric Banner, Brad Pitt, Colin Farrell. I think I'm going to go for Brad Pitt, because he's gorgeous. We're going to light up Brad Pitt, please. Alexander the Great, was it played by Brad Pitt? No. Oh, it's Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. But at least we know you like Brad Pitt. Let's go back to the categories. We've got nature left. It's got to be three, hasn't it? Okay. <laughs> nature for three, please. The name of which small mammal comes from the Greek meaning shade tail? Squirrel, chipmunk, or hamster? I have no idea. Let's try squirrel, please. We're going to go with squirrel, please. Let's find out. We've gone with squirrel. Yeah! Well done. Uh, right. Right. Drop zone four, then, please, Ben. Fire it up, please. Mm, bit too far that way. Don't give up on it yet, are you? There you go, look. A little nudge on it. Oh, Here we go. Oh. Now it's going to slide across and get right behind it. There you go. Four counters drop in. That's 200 pounds. Takes us up to 3,000 pounds. Two more to go. Drop zone four again. Drop zone four again, please, Light ben. it up, please. The silver ones we want to hit. Now move, now move. We can take those two silver ones out. Go on, go on, go on. Where's it going to go? Squeeze the jackpot. Go on. It's another four that drop in. It's another 200 pounds. Takes up to 3,200 pounds. One more to put in here, Rita. Drop zone four again, please, Ben. Light it up, please. Yes, it's in the right spot. We need this just to fall nicely now, Rita. Come Go on, on, come along. Shift. Come along, shift. Come on, Rita. For ten thousand pounds. Go, Rita. It's right there, Rita. I know it is. I know. I can't believe it's not dropped. Right. You've got £3,200. We've used up all your categories. But, Rita, it's not over. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with £10,000. As things stand, at £3,200, you can walk away with it right now, or you could trade it for three final counters put into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, nothing else has any value, so you leave with £10,000, or you leave with nothing at all. I could have a lot of fun with £3,200. Because it's all mine. <laughs> um... What do you think, Rita? I'll have a go. Go on, let's do the trade. OK, I'll ask you one last time then, Rita. Would you like to take the money or would you like to take the trade? I'll take the trade, please, Ben. She's going to take the trade, everybody. <gasps> oh, Rita, £3,200. I know, I know. You have just given me, and I'm going to give you three counters to drop that jackpot a matter of inches. That's all you've got to do, OK? I know, I know. Drop zone four? Yes, please. Light it up, please. Come on. It's not going to take much, Rita. Oh, Rita! Is that the right place? Is that the right place? Is it, Come Rita? On. Show me the right place. Go, oh, no! You... Okay, that's all right. It is. Promising start. Okay, I Drops believe you. Again. Yeah. Far up, please. Come on, now, Rita. Yes. Okay, now. Now then. Come on, we need a little bit of lateral on that silver counter. Give it a nudge. It's going to squeeze it. It just needs a little nudge, Rita. Yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. My pleasure. How does that feel, Rita? Oh, indescribable. Thank you so much. And I've had such a lovely day as well. It's been stupendous. So there you go. Rita's leaving us with £10,000 to buy some goats and a hot tub as well. Yes!
Coming up, TV star Stacey Solomon is pushed right to the very edge. Oh! <laughs> Welcome back to Tipping Point Best Ever Finals, where we look back at some of the most thrilling endgames in the history of the show. Next up, it's Stacey Solomon. How will our favourite loose woman fare against the mechanical madam? We join Stacey on her second question. A person with the letters M-R-C-V-S after their name has what profession? A vet, a vintner or a valet? A valet? Is that like a, <laughs> a valet parking <laughs> What is a valet? So we're not exactly sure what a valet is. What about a vintner? Any ideas what they might do? Um, a Russian in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> so? The only one profession I know up there is a vet. People that have, like, work letters after their name usually don't... I don't know, a vet. That's all I know that's up there. That's all you know? I might as well admit it to myself. Let's light it up. Is the answer vet? Yes, it is. <laughs> Come on, give me that. What does it stand for? The member of the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons. Of course. A vintner <laughs> is somebody who deals with wine, and a right. valet would be somebody who looks after clothes and stuff. Well, I'm happy anyway. Either way, we've got three counters, so three chances to okay. shift that jackpot down to the bottom shelf. Drop on one. Let's Light do it, it. Let's give it a go. One on the left-hand side, Stacey, you should go for us. Oh, get over, get over, yep. Oh, oh that'd be enough. Don't fill that hole. Come on, edge it. Oh. Missed your counter drop. Another two across the tipping point. At 200 pounds, so up to 4,500 pounds. OK. Two more counters. Please, may I have dropped time one? You may, let's Thank it up. you. Oh, this is so tense. Good release on this one, Stacey. Could be okay. In the middle, be good. Get down, up. get down, nice, steady. This should drop for us. Come on now. There you go. Yay! Just split. Another four across the tipping point. Yay. Another 400 pounds. So up to 4,900 pounds. Please, may I have dropped some one? Of course, let's light it up. Thank you. Ooh. Go left. Go left. <gasps> Can we edge that silver counter over? No, just nudge around it. Anything gonna shove it sideways? Not this time. Oh. Okay, not to worry. Okay. So we're at four thousand nine hundred pounds. Crucially, the jackpot counter is on the bottom shelf, Stacey, and you're keeping it moving forward, which is so so important. Very well done. Music, mythology, sport, human body. Um, I'll go with mythology. Okay. Please. For how many? For three. I've known absolutely nothing about mythology. Okay. Let's have a mythology question for three counters, please. In Roman legend, who removed a thorn from a lion's paw to later be spared by the same lion when forced to fight in the arena? Romulus, Hercules, or Androcles? I don't think it's not Hercules, I know that story. I think it might be Romulus. Romulus? I'll go Romulus. Let's light up Romulus. Oh, I don't know. Was it Romulus who removed the thorn from the lion's paw? Oh, Androcles! Darn, darn. Okay, not to worry. Never mind. We've had a good run of it so far. Not that time, though. So, let's have a look at what we've got left. Okay. I'm gonna go for sport for free, because this is the one thing that, unless it's my partner's football team, I will know absolutely nothing about. OK. That's the truth. Which team is it? Arsenal. Oh, dear. So if we could have a sport question on Arsenal, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Can we get a sport question for three counters, please? In 1999, which Dutch footballer was voted European Player of the Century? Marco van Basten, Ruud Hullet, Johan Cruyff. Have you heard of any of them? Of the century, so was he around like 1901? <laughs> 1999. Who plays football for a century? It's <laughs> a bit of a silly question. What about Marco van Basten? 
He's got a nice long name. Marco <laughs> Van Basten. Do you want to take Marco Van Basten? Go on then. <laughs> I yeah. haven't got a clue. <laughs> Let's light up Marco Van Basten. By virtue of the fact he's got a nice long name. Yeah. Is the answer Marco Van Basten? Oh, oh Johan Cruyff. OK, not to worry. So we've got two categories left. Maybe I'll, I'll go human body. And because this thing I might remotely know, I'll go with two, just in case. Just yeah. a bit too hard. Yeah. Let's have a human body question for two counters, please. In the human body, the cochlea is responsible for which sense? Hearing, sight or smell? For some reason, I think it's hearing. I'm going to go hearing, I think. Let's light it up. Is the cochlea responsible for hearing? Yes! <laughs> right, then. <laughs> so, two counters, two chances. Hi. Please, can I have drop zone one? You absolutely can. Let's light Ooh. it up. Getting white now. It is. <laughs> Let's get it down, right okay. on that left-hand side, Stacey. Here we go. Uh, can we get anything over? Ah, uh, filled in the gap. Filled in the gap. That's what we need to do. One more counter for this category. Drop zone one. Yes, please. Fire up. Get over, get over, get over, get over. Oh, don't ride now. Get flat. Oh! Darn. She's not listening to us, is she? Stacy, oh. Stacy, Stacy. Nothing for those nothing. two. Never mind. So we come down to your last category. Music for how many counters? I'll go for three counters. It's my last one. Let's do I might it. as well go for it. Let's have a music question for three counters, please. Which of these groups did not feature <laughs> Sean Ryder <laughs> as lead singer? <laughs> Black Grape, oh. The Stone Roses, Happy Mondays. The Stone Roses. <laughs> you seem pretty certain about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm so certain. Thank how goodness come, I wasn't killed. How come you're me. so certain? Because <laughs> I remember him talking about the old Black Grape. <laughs> In the jungle. Let's light up the Stone Roses. <laughs> if this is right, we've got three last chances, Stacey. Was Sean Ryder not the lead singer of the Stone Roses? Yeah! Ian Brown, of course, the lead singer of the Stone Roses. Right, there's three counters, <gasps> Stacey. Can. Please, may I have dropped some one again? Let's light it up for you. Thank you. Here we go. This is it. We're owed one on the left, aren't we? We're so okay. close. Come on, down, machine. Get over, get over. Yes. Yeah. Come on. This feels good. Come on. What do you got for Thank us, machine? You. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just edged it over slightly as well. We okay. needed to stay in touch on that side. Drop zone one, please. Drop zone one it is. Thank you. Just like the last, Stacey. Go on, then. There, yep. Yeah. Is this the £20,000 drop? Six counters oh. across the tipping point, so the money okay. goes up by £600 to £5,500. We have one counter left. OK. Drop zone one, please. Drop I'm ready zone for one. this. Let's do Let's it. Let's light it up. Here we go. Come on now, Stacey. You are inches away from £20,000. Is this the £20,000 oh. drop? Come on. Could be enough. Yes. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Oh. <sighs> Wow. More oh, than half of it is yeah. over the tipping point, but that's not the right half. So, as things stand, you've got £5,500 for your charity. You can walk away with that money right now, Stacey, or I can offer you a trade. Three final counters to put into our machine in the hope of winning the jackpot. If you take the trade and you win, you leave with £20,000. If you take the trade and you lose, you'll be going away with just one thousand pounds oh. would three counters be enough Stacey I don't know it's for, ch it's for cherry so scary 
tell you what, I'll trade, and then if I don't get it, then I'll give that to him anyway. So. Oh. You have three last counters. Nothing else in the machine is worth any value other than that gold shiny jackpot counter. We need that one out of the machine. Okay. Drop zone one, please. Let's light up drop zone one. Oh. Let's get your first trade counter in. Yes. Could be good. Will this win your charity? £20,000, Stacey. Incredible. So, I'm you so have happy. played an extraordinary game, Stacey. Remind us the charity that's going to be benefiting Alzheimer's Research UK, and I can't wait to ring them off and tell them. They will be Excellent. absolutely delighted and very oh. proud of you, as are we, Stacey. You've been absolutely brilliant, and you're leaving with £20,000 for your charity. <laughs> Stacey Solomon, everybody. Join us next time for more drops and shocks on Tipping Point Best Ever Finals. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs>